Diabetic retinopathy is one of the leading causes of blindness in the world and one of the top four leading causes of blindness in Canada. Diabetic retinopathy is basically a manifestation of diabetes within the eye. Diabetes over time causes damage to blood vessels in our body. The smallest blood vessels in our body are located in our eyes, our kidneys, our heart, our lungs, and then in our brain. Blood sugar that's circulating in our body causes damage to these blood vessels, much like stripping the fiber optic cable off of fiber optic cables. And as a result of damage to the blood vessels, the blood vessels, once they're damaged, they begin to leak. And they begin to leak their contents, which are blood, fluid, cholesterol. So over time, this damage to blood vessels results in bleeding within the retina and also starts to affect blood flow within the retina. Over a long period of time, poor blood flow to the eye or poor blood flow to the retina can continue to escalate the stage of diabetic retinopathy. Here we can see a patient with advanced diabetic retinopathy developing multiple abnormal blood vessels which ultimately, if left untreated, can result in irreversible vision loss or blindness. What is the therapy for diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy or diabetic macular edema or swelling related to diabetes is treated with intravitreal drug delivery or intravitreal injections. And in this process, we deliver medicine to the eye directly on a monthly or every other month basis in order to ensure that we can preserve the vision within the eye. Symptoms of diabetic retinopathy may not present till late in the disease. And these symptoms can include blurred vision, sudden loss of vision, or even retinal detachment, which manifests with blindness.